Milk. Crate. Marauder. Chauncey Hayden, you're on the air. This is the publisher, writer of Stepping Out Magazine. Hey, Howard. Congratulations on your new contract. Thank you. It's great to have you back. Thanks. I know over the years, you and Pat Cooper have had your ups and downs. Yes. And apparently... I've had no ups and downs. Pat has the ups and downs. Pat has, yeah. What, what do we do now? <clears throat> I don't know what set it off. He, he did my internet talk show uh, over the vacation. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about comics. I asked him what comics he likes today. Yeah. And somehow it turned into you and how uh, you're a Hitler, you're a dictator, uh, you think you're Jesus. <laughs> you got that on and, tape? Uh, apparently he's got, he wants to get a bullhorn and st stand outside your apartment. What? And, uh, he thinks you ruin people's lives. I mean, when he went off on about a ten-minute tirade. You got to give me that. It's unbelievable. You can you have a copy of the uh, transcript. I don't want. Tra you, you, what you, good you, is that going to? Give it. Give it to us to play on the radio. Yeah, you want to play it? Can you play it? It's your. It's your radio show. Of course you can. Okay. Okay. I'll send you guys a copy. Is it a radio show? Yeah. It's like. So it's your radio show. Okay. Uh, why can't I play that? Yeah, he's got to ask himself permission. He doesn't know how to do. If that. you're giving me permission, I'm fine with it. Okay, well, just that over the years, you couldn't play the tapes of interviews. So well, they weren't your interviews. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know the rules. I'll send it over to you. Was oh, it a radio show? Yeah. Oh, so the. Yeah, we could play it. No, you used to do private interviews where you had right, a. Right, and then you wrote set. stories from them. But right. this is it. You're saying this is a, an interview that Pat did. Right. I would like that. to hear what he has to say about me. You, he's really. Uh, I, I, well, what did I do? Did we'll didn't I just see him? Again. Didn't we have a great time with him? I thought so. I've never heard him. So, so you know how he gets upset? He gets, like, shaky? Yeah. He was in one of those modes where he's actually trembling. I don't know. I'm looking at the transcript, Howard. It's pretty ugly. I'm the only one who even, like, like believes in the guy. But the last time he was in here. Last time he was in here, we had a great time. Great. The guy's, the, you know, he might have a what real... What happens when he leaves? I don't know. You gotta, you gotta... Hmm. I'm Hitler? No, you're Jesus. Oh, I'm Jesus so and Hitler. Jesus. I'm not Jesus. Are oh, you not? I know I'm not. I thought you Thank were. You. And you know what? Can I tell you what the question was that lit him? Lit him up? What comics do you think are funny today? Oh. And then he talked about this one. Then he talked about Dice. Then he talked about another show that Dice does. And he talks about how you and these guys are competing. And then he talks about... Then he goes nuts. He just goes nuts. And what then he talks it? about he's going to stand in front of your house with a bullhorn. But, why? <laughs> yeah, what? Hold on. Well, what did I do to him? Well, Where is he? Forget it. Just, get, just get, me the, get me the tape and I'll play it on the air. All right. Oh, he's crazed. He, um, I, I know it started. I just, I'm trying to figure a way to, to bring it up without... What? It, yeah, because it's our radio competitors who, who sit and, and rip off my show daily, and th it's all that. Right. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? I'll, give you the, I'll just give you the last part of it. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, sue me, you rat bastard, sue me. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, you rat piece of dirty. He thinks he's a dictator. That's how Hitler started. People have to stand up to Howard Stern. He's not Jesus. He's not anybody. It's over for Howard Stern. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wasn't he just in here a few weeks ago? Yeah. We had a great time. Who cares, though? What did you do to him? I don't know, but I think, I think maybe we're done with Pat. We, we always say oh, that. Come on. It sounds yeah. like he's done come with on. you. But it was a no. great appearance last time, right? It was great. He was great the last time he was here. How can you say no to Pat uh, Cooper? That's true. <laughs> you wonder if it's a bit, though. You know, sometimes I think he just goes off like that to be over the top. You, you Maybe he thinks I like it. Like. What? I don't know. Hey, Howard, I saw uh, Pat Cooper on OTB not too long ago. Yeah. And everything was cool. He, he was loving you. Maybe he's mad. Maybe he made fun of his suit last time. Yeah, but I don't think he was offended by that. I mean, it was fun. It gave him some room yeah, to... wearing a jumpsuit. So what? Uh, trying to give him some something to riff on. But you know when you're interviewing Pat, you just have to mention the name, and then he goes off into a, uh, this long, crazy, you know, rant. Yeah, it's like a slowly I turn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's that kind of thing where you just names come up and he just goes crazy. He doesn't even know what he's saying. And then now, if you bring, if you talk to him, he'll probably apologize and say, you know, uh, he doesn't apologize for anything ever. No, okay. he never apologizes. That's what I think. You don't hey, like listen. It? I mean, in, in all fairness, Pat doesn't talk to his own children. I mean, that's a guy who. You know, I'll never figure out. He bl he's mad at his kids because <laughs> they, they, they stay with their mother, but he left. <laughs> and then the I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I, I'll never now understand we'll him. Get into trouble because we said that. That's all right. I don't care about being in trouble. The guy obviously doesn't care about me. I also think it's interesting that he doesn't talk to his mom either. Mm -hmm. Mother dear. Hey, she had already had him. He didn't need her. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird.
Yeah, but I, I don't know what happened. I mean, he definitely was liking us, and nothing strange happened that I know. We had a very pleasant time the last time he was in here. Yeah. Should I call I him recall. or not even bother? To see Whatever. What well, I mean, let's listen to the tape. First. We'll can you get to that to us quickly, Chauncey? I can show you the transcript and. Boom. Well, I'll, re I'll read the transcript and then but I'll we, play the it's tape. It's better to play it on the air. Actually, right. it's archived. Anybody can listen to it at uh, iyada. We'll log on to there. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Welcome Bye -bye. back, Howard. Right. Okay. Man. <laughs> With friends like Pat. And we don't have many good friends. No, we got the worst friends. You'd think he'd love us. He us at a moment's notice. Uh, like we always put him on and promoted his shows. And, and, and look at the things that have ha uh, that have happened to his career as a result of the exposure here. Yeah, but then he'll say, no, we had nothing to do with that it. That irks him. Hmm. It irks him that this has done something for hmm. him. He used to tell me all the time, like, young people dig him now and... You know. Right, he's got new audience. He gets those shots on different radio networks that try to capitalize on what they hear here. Well, people say that Pat could have had a much bigger career if he had learned to just sort of shut his mouth once in a while, because a lot of people wanted to help him. Right. So maybe that's what, this is what they're talking about. But we've said ourselves, he shoots himself in the foot all the time. He's turned on everyone who's ever in, done anything for him. Yeah, that's weird. Who is this? Uh -huh. Yes, Raul, you're on the air in Queens. Hey, what's up, Howard? Go ahead, Raul. Hey, Howard, what's up? All right, come on, let's talk. Uh, yeah, is Pat Cooper still coming in? What did he say? Is Pat Cooper still coming in? I thought he said, <laughs> yeah, Pat's in the next room. I can room. interpret that. Pat's coming in next. Oh, that's great, man, because that was awesome on the mail last night. I saw him. It was talking awesome. He thought crazy. What did he say, Robin? He was on demand last night, and he saw Pat going crazy, so he's all excited. You're preparing yourself for Pat's appearance by watching his past performances on Howard TV. Yes, that's correct, Pat Cooper. Uh, some of his past performances going berserk. I yeah, was... hopefully so. I'll rouse him up today. All right. I think that was uh, I'm A-list, not B-list, right? That's my favorite. I think that's probably that's what's on Howard TV right now. All right. Well, I have to tell you, I haven't seen Pat Cooper in how long, uh, and I never thought I'd see him again. I think it's got to be, I didn't, hadn't thought about it, but six, seven years? Mm -hmm. Could it be more? Probably. All right, well, let's bring Pat in. Gary said uh, he stopped dyeing his hair red. It's now all gray. Oh, really? And uh, here we he is. We had him on the wrap-up show one day. You saw him? Yes, I have seen him. Did he look older? Yes. He did. And how did that go? Uh, how old? It's an hour of my life. That's bullshit, man. Here we go already. You're already angry. Huh? We just, uh, can't we say Hey, Rob, and I didn't finish talking to him yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> Nobody that, could hear you. Right, Are you uh, wearing a jumpsuit? Do me a favor. Yeah. Start to eat. I know. I'm, you're I'm, fucking getting too skinny. Life is short. Right. A half a billion. Spend it now because you can't take a witch, your pal. That's Trust true. me. I should probably you're eat something. You're doing a great job. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm very happy to be here. Sit down, please. I don't want to sit down. I want Robin to press her ball. How are you, Robin? I'm fine. Happy with... holiday and happy holiday, by the Thank way. Thank you, Pat. Oh, did I have a holiday? Uh, no. uh, style. How are you, buddy? Hey, Pat. Why don't you shave once in a while? How you doing? <laughs> Hi, buddy. How are you? What's up, dude? You know, You're Pat, still here. I'm still here. God bless you. Fred is still here. Fred is still here. You have to forgive me. I left my hearing aid home, and I'm not being funny. I left it. Of course, to show you how exciting you are to me that I left my fucking hearing aid Why would you leave your hearing aid home? Because I'm stupid. He, tell, he called me and says, can you make up by 7.15? I'm here an hour and ten minutes already. Can you hear now? No. Why would I want to hear you? What do you got to say to me that I got to hear? With the headphones. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Right? I think do you so. want to raise the level? Just move your lips once in a while so I know you're talking to me. Do you want to raise All the right. level in your headphones? I, I, I don't know. Are you okay? Do you hear I'm me okay? I'm never okay, Howard. No, do you that, hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear okay. Do you hear Robin okay? I don't want to hear Robin. She's getting on my fucking nerves. Oh, here we go. Hi, right. darling. <laughs> How are you? Pat, let me uh, try to understand. Let me make, try to make sense of our relationship first. Okay. If that's okay with you. And then he'll get back you to the You want to know why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you ask me why? And I end it right here. It's like very easy. No, 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 no. I, I, I want to understand something. Okay, go ahead. I always felt, as a fan of yours, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I'm a fan, I always appreciated you and had you on my show for many years. Absolutely. Very, very good guest. Uh, my family always enjoys your, you, you know, you know, big fans. <laughs> and I always said in your career, there's something in your personality that always has to blow up what's good I feel now this is my opinion and I'm playing pop psychologist I have no credentials and we had a nice relationship and this is true of you all the time I think your career would have been as big as a Rickles as any of these guys but I think a lot of times you push people so hard 
and you come on so strong like a pit bull that you blow off the people who want you to do your best and, and are rooting for you in your corner. And I think that's sad. I mean, I really was never going to have you back on again because I just said, God, the guy hates me so much. That's he, not true. So, Why would you say that? Well, because who told you, you that? Said, no, no, that's bullshit. I Howard. heard you on several interviews where you no, got no, very ugly no, about that, my family. That's not and my true. My children, and no. you said it to me too. All right, hold on a minute. All right, hold on a minute. First of all, I never, never mentioned your children. No, never. you did. You did. Never. Want me to tell you what you said? Yeah. You didn't tell me if I'm lying. Yeah. Go ahead. You told me that uh, after my divorce, that my children were not going to love me anymore, that I'd have no relationship with them. And I know that happened for you in your life, and I'm sorry about that. I know it's painful. Well, why would I throw that on you for? I don't but understand you did. that. I think you projected. I don't remember doing that, Howard. Well, I don't I wrong, remember Robin? doing this it. This is a, I, the I, general I, well, thing. Whenever uh, we hold have on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. falling out with Pat, Pat would say he didn't remember saying I whatever know. it was. And I, and I, I mean, I truly had Howard, your best interest. Howard, Howard, if I said that, yeah. I don't know why I would say that. And I'm saying to myself now, why would I bring? There had to be a reason for me to say that. Or, I know. Or why? When I said it, it could have been comedically. It could have been my way of saying, you know, you know kidding around. I have no accident right. around with you or your children. I mean, all that's right. bullshit. I, I mean, I just was right, shocked. Right. Now, let me I explain to you and why. I, mind, I, I never minded that you would well, run I around. I mind it because I feel terrible now because I'm saying to myself, why would I turn around and go after this guy? I left on my own. Fine. And I tell you why I left on my own. Yeah, I heard all about that. I don't mind that. I you, don't know you, why you what you heard. I'm telling you why tell I me, left right, on my tell own. Tell me why. Okay. I'm listening to you one morning, and you're having a debate with these other two guys who shall be mentionless. Okay. Right. No, you're not talking about, you're talk about you Opie and Andrew. Right? You can mention anybody okay. you want on So I'm saying show. to myself, here's a guy. He's a giant. That's right. Here's a man. I don't know how big he can get. Here's a man, he's one of a kind. Why is he wasting his time making two guys bigger than they are by fighting with them? And I'm saying, is this all worth it? Then when Jack Martin split, I'm saying there's something not right here. I think it's about time. Maybe I should back away and say to my, you know, I'm saying, what, 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 why? What do you, first of all, let, let's go backwards. Split. What, wait, 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 what do you have to do with Jack Martling and Jack I Martling? I love Jack Martling. And, and if, I, I have a, if I have words with uh, two other guys, how does that impact me and you? Jackie Martling leaves the show because Jackie Martling I don't care why, got into just, a salary yeah. dispute with Infinity Broadcast yeah. okay. at the time. That was it got to do well, with me and you. Well, well, that's me, unfortunately. I turned around and I said, well, maybe things are going to change here, so I should back away and you know, go about no, my you, life. You didn't know my relationship with Jackie. Jackie would take I, me every day and rake me over the coals. Okay. And really, and really, it was getting devices. Robin and Fred were having a hard time with them. It was a, it was a okay, problem fine. in okay. our organization. Okay. What's that okay. got to do with me and you? Because you got to understand where I'm I'm coming from. That's my bullshit. Where are you coming from? I, that's my bullshit. Okay. Crazy now you're stuff. saying what? What? what I, I don't know what you got with Jackie, and I don't give a damn what you got with Jackie. I just thought that you know some maybe this maybe this whole thing is starting to break away. You know, guys are going to be different. P people are going to be. Maybe I should back away and just go on a hiatus or something. So why badmouth me everywhere? You I don't go. remember badmouthing oh, you. All right. Ooh. If you say so, I'm going to take your word for it. I mean, come on. If you say vicious listen, stuff. I have never. Uh, Walk the streets since I left this show. Had anybody say to me, you bad mouth Howard, you bad. All they said to me was, you're the only one that's straight front with Howard. And I said, well, I had good shows. Straight right? front is good. I never, never said this show didn't help me. Never. Right. And I said, and I helped, helped the, the show. show. All right. That's Why right. I'm here today, I'm the most surprised man, Howard. You are surprised. I what, am, what brought you back to the show? I'll tell you why. Okay. I don't remember my agent, I understand, calls here. Okay. Okay. Without my permission, but that's okay. All right. I'm not mad that I'm here. Please believe that. All right. Gary called me. And Gary said, Pat, we'd like you to do the show October 4th. I says, what time you want me? I didn't debate. Not knowing that my agent had called you, say, you know, Pat wants right. to come on the show. All right. So when I found that, I called my agent. I said, I said not, not for anything. I said, I got nothing against these people. I said, well, why, why don't you let me know? I said, now I feel like a jerk. When, when, when Gary called me, I felt like a jerk. I said, because I didn't know. I thought, well, gee, Gary's calling me on his own. He didn't call me on his own, which is fine. Right. I said, and I admit that. My well, agent the, guy, called the guys came to me, and they said in the meeting, to Pat, this is how it was presented to me. Pat uh, is available to come on. And they said, how do you feel about it? I said, really, 
I don't want to have anything to do with Pat anymore. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I said that. I said, I don't feel the man likes me. I don't feel the man is uh, appreciative of our relationship. I said, and also, it, it pains me because I care about him. But, but the only reason it pains me is because I like the guy. I, I have a feeling for you and I and, and uh, always enjoyed your company and enjoyed the effort you put into my show, which helped my show. And so it, I said, I don't know that I want to put myself through the reunion. You know what I mean? It feels awkward to me and forced. But I recognize that my audience would probably like to hear us together again. And uh, in the interest of doing good radio, I will do it. So that's why I agreed to it. And I don't know. I don't know why you got under my skin. I guess because I thought we had a different kind of relationship, and I realized I was just another one of the pack. That's I was, not true. I was Lola uh -huh. Falana, or I was just another guy. Frank Sinatra. I was Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I was another one of the shitheads in your world. And I just said, you know, maybe it's time I stop being a masochist and going back to the well for my beating. Uh, but uh, I'm glad you're here. I I have no uh, uh, animosity towards you. I'm a big fan of yours. I just wonder what goes wrong and i wonder if this isn't a pattern in your life that everybody's got to get blown up somehow who loves you i don't think so howard i got no. i mean you got to give me credit for one thing i am where i want to be now that sounds strange right i am where i want to be right. i've had opportunities and you can say well because uh, it's your own fault maybe you're right i don't know right. i don't see myself as you do right. you probably have a better perspective i turn around i say to me i don't want to be there i don't want to do that i don't want to do this and i'm not going to do that and i stayed and i stayed I True stayed to where I know I'm making a lot of good living. Right. I got great, you know, great family. I'm saying I'm okay, and I didn't want to get involved in show business, as we say. Right. So I wanted to get myself. I got a family. When show business is over, close the door and go home. This is what I do. When I'm in show business, when I'm on your show, listen. I've had controversies with you. We've yelled and screamed, and right. I've said things to you. All right, it's good radio. Right. Fine. Absolutely. So when I left the studio, I said, All right, I was a part of good radio, and I went home. And how, I, is I, your, how is your life now? Is it good? Uh, well, I lost my wife two years ago. Oh, and, I'm, and I, you know, I was going to write you a note about that. I heard about that. Okay, okay, and that's I all felt, right. I felt horrible that you lost you. I know you loved your wife very dearly. I lost, I lost, I lost. Uh, best what, what can I tell you? But, but you know, life goes on. Well, I got my grandkids. I got my, I got my daughter. I, I, I still live in Vegas. I bought a place here in New York. Well, let me tell you something. Maybe this is too emotional. I felt very bad when I heard that your wife died. Well, I'm I, know I didn't close. know. You didn't tell me. Well, I had heard. Well, I, I saw you. I, I, no, I'm been him. He didn't tell me. No, I would have written you a letter, but I felt... I understand. I felt, gee, the guy wasn't going like to hear him. from me for he doesn't right, like me. Right, right, he, right. He, or he's got. I, sometimes I think <laughs> you're just angry with my career. Oh, well, let me like, ask you a question. I, I know if, there are people who are jealous of if me. If I didn't like you... Yeah. Why would I be here? Today? Well, I didn't know you would be here well, today. Well, today, well, I didn't know it, and I'm going to say to you again. You. I told this agent, I, you know, I said, look, I haven't been with the guy for oh, about four years. I don't want to start, you know, maybe the guy thinks I, I, I'm, I'm in trouble or something. Look at my mind. Right. I said, so, you know, he said, Pat, you know, life is short. He says, Richard Gary's going to call you. So when Gary called me, and he's out there tell you, I said, what time do you want me to? I didn't make a speech. Well, I'm not too sure who called who. How called long me? were you married? 41 years. 41 years. Yeah. And uh, two years ago, you lost your wife yeah. to, to illness? Yeah. I lost my wife two years ago. I lost her, and I got my grandchildren and my wife and my daughter. That's what I'm down to. But you got to understand. Are you living in Vegas still? Well, my home is Vegas, but I bought a place here in New York. You live in New York for Are you time. dating? I just bought a place. Um, am I what? Are you dating? Dating, yeah. I'm you dating. are? Ooh. Am I dating? Did she ask me? Yeah. Yes. You are dating. Well, I, I met a I met a woman that my wife and I knew. Go ahead. And I took her to, uh, last year. I walked over to her and I said, Joanne, would you like to go to Italy with me? So she started to laugh. She goes, I know. I heard a guy ask me for dinner. You got to ask me to go to Italy. I said, Well, I want to go to Italy. Woman? I'm sorry. White woman. What is the difference? She's Chinese. She's, She's a woman. Oh, I'm just trying oh, to get a shit. Was it a white woman? I go out with human beings. I don't it, give a is fuck. It a white woman? White and black don't bother. Never did. I didn't say it bothered. Yes, you. it did. Because you, 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 you press me. Is she white or black? Is she a white woman? I'm just curious. Yes. Okay. Right. She's Italian. She was born in body. All right. So I turn around and I took her to Italy. Now was we're walking on eggs. But wait. Was it strange? Because here's a woman that knew your wife. No. I'll tell you how strange it was. All right. I got her own room. So she said to me, she said, you know, you're a gentleman. I said, no, there's a thing called hygiene. You have to go to the bathroom. You got your own bathroom. Right. You're a woman. You got to clean yourself woman-wise. I said, I'm not looking to get laid. 
Why would I take you twelve, you know, three thousand miles or six thousand miles to get in your pants? I right. would stay here and get in your pants. Right. I ain't looking to get laid. You I don't want to get laid. I said I'm still thinking of my wife. I took her to Italy. Right. We went in Venice and for twelve days walking on eggs because she didn't know my turn. I didn't. She didn't know my humor. I didn't know. And we're looking at each other, eating and looking at each other. <laughs> I go back to Vegas and I said, Would you like to go to dinner? I took her to dinner. Next thing I said, I said, Would you like to go to Sicily with me? Wow. She says yes, and we just and came no back. Sex, uh, we so just far. came back. Oh. No now, sex. now, I'm saying I got a relationship with this girl. But I told Sexual her. Sexual relationship. Excuse me. I told her we are not an item. She goes, what does that mean? I'm still wooing you. She wow. goes, what does that mean? I says, if I stop wooing you, it's going to get old. Hmm. So what I'd like to do is woo you. I don't want you to move in with me. I don't want to move in with you. I want you to have your own place. I got my own place. I'll do anything I can to be a good guy to you. But I don't want you living and me living together because I'm Why don't you treat no me like that? What? Why don't you treat me like that? I treated you better than you'll ever know. Really? What I... about the good times? <laughs> oh, we love the good times. The good times, times were good. <laughs> wait, wait, was there ever any good times? Oh, there were a lot times. of good times. Uh, all right, so let me ask you something. But I'm a battered wife. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, I've said things to you that I don't think anybody said. Nothing anger I hate, because I never had any hate for nobody. Right, right, right. So... That's me. So if I'm a fuck up, okay. I'm not saying no. And I'm not saying what you're saying. I said this. I said that. I never had hate towards you. You got to believe that. I don't hate nobody. I'm a dickhead. But listen. Uh, no. Listen to me. Howard, there's I only Get back to your relationship. Get back to your relationship for a second. Yeah. I wish I had those tapes. Yeah, I wish we But anyway, listen tape. to me. I wish you did. You I don't have I them? I, don't, I didn't line up tapes. I, I wanted to talk to you man to man. No, but I wanted you to put. Uh, the, next time I'll get you. Do you tapes. know why? Why? Do you know why, Howard? Why? If that's true, yes, I would be the most shocked guy to talk about your children. If I said anything about maybe your wife, not that, but why would I involve your children? I'll, I'll bring why in the tape. Why would you say something about his wife? I'll bring in the tape minute. if you Wait want. Wait a minute. I said it to you? You no, said you it in said interviews. It on shows. On shows. Interviews. What interviews? I'll Everybody bring it in. I'll happening. bring it in. Okay. I'll bring it in. I want to be embarrassed. All right. Why uh, this white woman you're dating? Why is it a white woman? Well, that you take to Sicily. <laughs> Did you? So so far no sex. And is the is the no is sex the, at is all? the ghost or the thought of your wife very no. much there? She knew you. No, I you, can't get a heart on. You can't. I swear to Christ Almighty. Because I took, you, Viagra fails me. I had a patch. They gave me a patch to put on my ass that says you get an erection in three hours. I'm my old God. Wow. I put it on my ass. Three hours later, I went back to smoking. <laughs> so I'm wow. bringing a point that it didn't work. So I can't function, and I ain't going to put the woman through that crap. Do you think that you can't get an erection because this woman knew your wife, or do you think it's because... No, because I'm old. You're not that old. You're I'm, 70... I'm 77. You just killed an hour of my time. And 77, you can't get an erection? It, I never so thought of erections at 77. Do you never get erections? Do you have no spontaneous erections? My darling, I never think of that. Do you have off? Can you still come? No, I never do. You go. I never bother. Wow. When did that stop? I don't know. It just stopped. You had sexual relations with your wife. Oh, okay. absolutely. No problem so there. So within the last two years, you stopped having erections. Did you ever think it was psychological? Yeah. Well, because that's your wife what my died. friend tells me is yes. psychological. Absolutely. I go to a doctor, and my other God, he can't get an erection. So what does that tell you? Two years ago, you could get an erection. Two years yeah. ago, you were banging your wife. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but all of a sudden, it's just like, it never entered my mind. I lost this lady. I'm worried about my grandkids. I'm worried about my daughter. I made sure that uh, whatever I, uh, I was worth, I took care of my grandkids. I took care of my daughter. Right. Make sure my kids are going to go to my grandkids or to college. That was on my mind. My mind was taking care of them while I'm alive. Right. Not when I'm dead. Because I wanted to see what I can give to these kids and give to my daughter. That was important. Do you this think girl is terrific, but by do the way. Do you think that she's, you're not physically, tra like if I brought in a young stripper here, you don't think you'd get no. an erection? Like no. if you went to scores, you don't go How to is she younger than you, Joanne? I, would, I swear to you, I've had opportunities, and I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. You've had the moment they, come and not been able while she's there? Robin, I should never see my grandkids again. I tell you on television and on radio, that's my problem. 
But to me, it's not a problem because that's not important to so me. So what do you do? You have to eat her, right? You have to lick her. Uh, I don't eat nothing. No, you have to lick her. No, licking. Order... Nothing. So what, are you, what are you fucking nuts? When what do you, you think me licking? Wait. You think that's what I'm going to do? So, honey, I can't get an erection. Sit down. I'm going to eat you. Well, that's what eat. guys in wheelchairs do. The only fucking thing I eat is food. Give me a break. Well, hold on huh? a second. You're going to tell me this woman's going to be your companion. You're getting intimate with each other. I don't other. know if she wants to and be my gonna companion. Lick her? And you're not going to lick her? She didn't say I'm going to be a betrothed. I don't want no betrothed. No, no, I'm not talking about getting married again. I, that's She's a terrific lady. She understands. She's so your friend. She's 55 years old. She understands. 55? Yeah. That's I'm 77. A much younger woman. She's got needs, man. She's my... gorgeous, and she's got a body that don't quit. And, and you, I'm sick. I'm in neutral. And she stood before you nude, and you sat there, and you said, I can't. I, I never was nude with her. Well, why don't you try? I don't want to try. Why don't you? Because I'm a pipe. He's afraid. That's crazy. you got to get back in the saddle. I mean, I don't got to get back. It's not important. Yeah, really? You don't have desire. I'm going to talk to you like a brother, kid. Okay. I swear no, to you, as God is my... I have wow. never, never, never felt this way about my sexual life. I didn't think about it. My main concern after I lost my wife was my daughter and my two grandkids. All right, but now you can start but thinking no, about your daughter very, can take care no, of herself. I got very heavy into that. Yeah. I turned around, got lawyers, and signed everything over to my daughter to make sure oh. that she was okay. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. My daughter is... Biggest a, mistake you could have made. What's the difference? It's only money. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to take it? Your daughter now has all your money? Well, not really, and I left her a will. What's her, you a know? will, but yeah. you have your money. Well, I got, I got, I got a few dollars. I, 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 listen, I, listen, I no, am... If you die, you left her all your money. You didn't put it in, 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 in. You didn't let her hold on to it now. Oh, no, I gave her from my, from my, you know, from my pocket. No, I, mean, but I understand that, but, but you I don't, told she her, doesn't have control of your assets. Nobody got control of my assets. I don't have control of my assets. Yes, what are you do. talking about? Nah, not really, Howard. You know what my philosophy is? This is why you can look at me and say, well, you said this about my kids. You said that about my kids. You want to hear a tape? They found am, the tape. I, you want to hear a tape of you bad me, my kids? What? Gary claims he found the tape. Found okay. the tape? You want to hear it? Yeah. It's going to hurt. I don't care. I All came right. on the shelf. I can't take it. I'll quit. All right, here we go. I, I haven't heard this tape either. I don't know what, what it is. What show is this? Gary, where is this from? I can't remember. Uh, we, we had the clip, but I remember it was Pat was sitting in some sort of a diner. It was some video show they did. It was sitting in some sort right. of a diner being interviewed. Here we go. This, this, is what set me off. this is what really did it for me. Okay, go okay. ahead. What do you children say to you 10 years on the road? What do you children say to you? How do you go? Is that a lady? You how strange the daughter is. Let me tell you about your father. I mean, they're going to be punished for this. Yeah. And they don't seem to understand that. Because his character, what he's doing now, the children will suffer. Right. And, you know, I mean, they, you, they walk down the street. And I told him this. Your kids will turn around and be punished for what you're I doing. I said that. But it's like talking to the wall. I said it's that. It's your voice. That's you. All right. I tell you, I remember What that. am I doing wrong that my kids are embarrassed about? The fuck do I know? I had to talk about some, so I talked about you. Oh, come on. I'm a friend. You don't do that to a, a friend. friend. Do a I friend. say that about your kids? Oh, well, you could say anything you want. No, oh, come would. on. You wouldn't want that. But you're right. I, I heard it now. And you don't like when right. I say things about your personal but, life. Okay. You have, you're a vulnerable man. You can say anything you want about no, me, Howard. you know what happened with your children and all that. There's, there's a very big rift. Wait a minute. Ho-ho. Back off. Come on. Oh, back wait off. Wait a minute. You forgot. What I forget? About when, when my when my daughter came on your show and my mother came on your show. Yes. You forgot about that? I don't. Did I turn around and back down? Yes. Did she I told me not to talk about it anymore. No. Yes, you did. No, you because did. that was one of you your said, best. said, I'm not coming on anymore if you talk that... about my kids and my wife, and, and I don't no, want to talk about it. No, we didn't talk it. about my kids and my wife. We I, talked I about my off. exes. I backed off. No. No. Ah, no. Uh, that on. was one of your best shows ever. And, yes. if you, and if you remember, I, I said was. to you, Howard, if we could put this on tape, we'd sell 10 million of these goddamn things. That's true. Things. And I said to you at the time, you said to me later on, look, yeah. I don't want to talk to my kids on the phone anymore. You know, I'm talking about your Why biological kids. Why did I say that? You, you, I must you be old. Uh, uh, you're getting, yeah, yeah, you're getting you can't uh, uh, I backed back off. I did right. right. things you didn't want to say. That's all. That's okay. I can handle it. I I I'll tell you what, I feel bad you can't get an erection. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're with a 55-year-old woman, that's a considerably younger woman, it's got to weigh on you. It's got to. Do you guys make out or do uh, any physical things? Do you make out? I, I talk you to kiss? you, and I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it on national radio. I'm telling you the truth. 
Right. Why would I lie to you? Why would I make a statement like that? I didn't even think you were going to come that far, but this is your show, and I know what we always talk about, so that's okay. You can talk about my sex life. What no, do you want to say? I have no sex life. I was looking for it. I ain't looking for it. Yeah, but you want companionship. You want to be with I a woman. I like to be, have a lady with me, take her to dinner. She's terrific. She's got a great figure. She's got a great sense of humor, and, and she's terrific. And I, I, I like being happen. with her. This is what happens when you're 77, though. I mean, I wonder if my father can still get hard. Is he? Uh, my Father's I can't speak for your father. No, or you. he tells me he has sex. Well, he then does? your father's terrific. When did he tell My you mother that? said they still have sex. Well, she doesn't act exactly. Oh, I, I went to a doctor, not one, two. So it bothers you? Well, no, I went to see if something was physically wrong with me. Right. Oh no, no. The like first thing prostate. I said, take mom. Well, my price said to me, hey, listen, I pee like a like a well, better than a horse. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's no I problem. I feel this is psychological. I think you were madly in and love with your Viagra wife. And Viagra did nothing. I feel you were madly in love with your wife. Yeah. She's gone. This woman was a friend of hers. He's still grieving. You're still grieving. You probably didn't go to a psychiatrist and talk it over with I somebody. I don't go to a psychiatrist. Well, you maybe What's need to. What's going on? You try to analyze when you can't. I'm telling you. And you're pretty you, good. I'm telling you. And you got to go with this woman, this new woman, and you got to start with like a hand job. What's a hand job? You're sick of 77. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I'm going to be honest you with you. She's got to give you a needs? hand job. What? He's a sexual surrogate. I wouldn't put her through that. Are you stupid? Are you crazy? Isn't she in love with you? I don't No, There's no love here. I don't think I like her. I like her oh, very much. I thought I had a different impression. But what impression you got? She's my, you, she's, I thought this was romance. I tell her you're my lady. I tell everybody, say hello to my lady. And don't you think she says to her friends, Pat won't fuck me? I think she's oh. terrific. I think she's a patient woman. I don't think she's brought it up. Oh, so and you I don't think, think it's going to happen. Kiss, do you kiss her on the mouth? Well, we, we don't do it. We don't kiss her. You kiss her. I, well, I'll kiss you on the mouth. No, 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 no. You kiss that her. Don't mean you I'm have gay. romantic kisses with her. Yeah, we kiss. What? Right, right. Okay. Do you feel her breast? Nothing. No. You don't? You no. never touched her breast. All the months <laughs> are going out with her. Why? You kiss her and run? It's none of my fucking business. That's why. Oh, come on. You know she. Well, why do you ask me this question? You want the truth? I'm telling you the truth. So I let her give you a hand job. To my sex let life. her play There's with no your hand pain. job. There's no your job. If she job, gave you a hand job. job, you're telling me you wouldn't get erect? Maybe you would. So I can't get erect. Are, are, are you attracted? Are you attracted to her? You are? Do you find her physically attractive, like pleasant to look at? Yeah. You do. She's like hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's when got a nice went figure. To Sicily, did She's you got do... a figure of 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 of, of, of a twenty year old. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, when they went to Sicily, did they have the separate bedrooms again? In Sicily, you had a separate bedroom. All the way down. Okay. Down. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not making a joke here. I'm being. I, I swear. All the this way is, down my other day. This is coming out of friendship now. All right. Okay. Put everything else aside. Yeah. Man to man, because you, I know you. You remind me of so many guys. You won't talk about with a, with a professional. You won't get help. If she was to kiss you, yeah, and put, say Pat. I feel good. Let me play with your penis. No, if she did that. I'd laugh. No, let her touch it. I would laugh because my my my. my I would her laugh. Hand, He's nervous her, because her I hand, would I would be embarrassed if she made the first her, move. Did you tell her you can't get an erection? I, I never discussed it. And she's never said to you, Pat. I, I she burned. knows it's none of my. She says none of my fucking business. And she never says to you, I burn for you. I want you. I no, need she, you. No, we don't never. talk that way. Why don't wow. you stay tonight? Nothing. Nothing. Please sleep in my bed. I want to cuddle with you at when? night. She never said, I want to sleep in your bed with never you? Never said that to me. Like, I want to cuddle with you. I want to have, I want no, to be I close. tell her, I kiss her, I like her, I tell her, I tell her, I tell her, you know, I, I care about you, I tell her that. Doesn't she have needs, sexual needs? Did she well, have... Well, ask her, the fuck do I know? Why I don't ask, ask her. her. I don't want to ask her, because if Would she says can... to me, no, I'll never talk to her, I'll feel terrible. Right. In other words, if she turned around and I said, listen, I want to go to her, because I'd rather not, I would fucking be devastated. You think you're being played? She's doing someone else and then just playing you for your money? I hope, you know what I told her? What? I'll drive you there. You let her bang another guy. Did you ever just tell you that? Yeah. Because it's none of my fucking business. She wants to go where she got to go. You wouldn't care goes. if she was banging some guy on the side. It's none of my business. I don't ask her. Wow. Wow. Just take. <laughs> and the Viagra was nowhere. I tried Viagra. Why it's did you crap. try Viagra? I tried it. When you were with her? I tried it when, when I was alone. I tried it anyway. I took two one when time. When you're alone, when you're alone, it is going to. When you're alone, it's not going to work. Uh, you still got to be stimulated. I took it when I was with with with, with her. You did. Trying, you know, not letting her know it, right. and nothing happened. It's just a good thing I didn't make an attempt. But no. I laid there like a lox. Did you kiss her while you were on Viagra? No. See, you got to be doing something, Pat. You gotta... I am doing something. It's, it, uh, my doctor says I got tremendous tension. I don't yes, know what you the do. fuck that you do. Because you're angry. You never dealt with this. I'm you angry. Lot, you got well, a you just told me I'm angry. You're you right, got I am a angry. shitload of sadness in your life, and you, you know, you had a horrible childhood. You, which, which what is does still, that got to do with? Because you still live in the past. 
You know you do. You're that's angry with true. your mother. You're angry with your, oh, that's you're angry with your that, family. That, that's just, all right, so that means I can't get a heart on? Yeah. So I'm being punished? Yeah. How come I you're can't, punishing how yourself? How come I got a heart on with my wife when I'll my tell you married. why. I'll tell you why. You were a younger man then. The death of your wife brought up a lot of issues that you haven't dealt with yet. I don't believe so. It's all piling up on you. I'm doing great. I feel happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape. I don't believe it. Not if you're not getting sex with this woman. you got to feel like a man always wants to have I, sex. I'd like her very much. The timing will be if it works, it works. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to. See, I'm talking. I'm, she's I'm going to give you a hand job. It's, if she's Tell listening to this show, I hey, give Pat a hand. I job. hope I don't but lose. Him, what kind of woman are you? I don't want to. I don't want to lose her friendship. That. That's what's Pat important. wants to take a Viagra and give you give him a hand job. If you're listening to this show, for Christ's sakes, do something. He's embarrassed to ask you. Manipulate the head of his penis. You're gonna embarrass her now because you know we whatever. Got, she's got to come out with this. You got to go. She's got a, friends in Vegas like I do. You're embarrassing her. You two her. need to confront this. You need some baby oil. Why? Wait a minute. Wait, let me ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I said you need some baby oil. You do. Yes. Artie, right, go and sit next to Pat on the couch and show him what we're talking. About. <laughs> do you believe this, Artie? What do you make of this? You're well, I'm enjoying listening to this. Wow. I think I'm uh, shocked. It's a lack of uh, communication again, is what happened. Now I'm gonna lose my friendship with this woman no 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 no, no, no 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 she'll be happy no. we broached the subject that you two couldn't bring up for each other i will say now we've cracked Howard, the ice. i will say there's not a hand job i'm sorry for you i i am no. i'm sorry you lost your let wife that's number it, one let me give it a coup de grace the guy loved his wife What's i know that grace? let me give it a coup de grace go ahead she stood in my apartment for a week i slept on the couch <gasps> Ooh. so what does that say i'm saying that's how terrible that, I don't know what, because I'm afraid. And you're upset about it. No, I, that. I don't think I can handle rejection. You're not going to get rejected. She wants to be with you. She's showing well, you. She the, thinks there's something wrong with I her. Know. Why is she hanging out with she you? She thinks she there's something like wrong you. with her that you don't no, want to touch her. No, she knows there's something wrong with me. She doesn't know you can't get erection. Well, she figures all comedians are dickheads. No, tell her you can't get an erection, but with her in the right situation, she gave you a hand job. We don't talk about erections when we're angry. We're talking about it here. She what probably thinks. She probably, what do you want, Gary? Business All right. Well, she probably thinks that you don't want her. Honestly. That's what a woman would do. A she woman's going, well, the guy doesn't want her. Why she still go with me? She likes you. Well, I like her, too. She's afraid to put Isn't her Isn't that nice enough for you? She probably can't even figure out how to get her hand down that jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah, <how do> you <laughs> get I mean, that's some pair of pants. How do you get him out of that? Big, I mean, how do you get a guy, your hand down a guy's jumpsuit? You got to zip the back, you come around. <laughs> but go ahead. What did you want to say? You know, I don't know that I even want to collect on this bet. Go to Gary Preview, page one, on the top at Orange. You know, Pat was on the wrap-up show. Yeah. The what show? The wrap-up show. He stopped by to do our show about two months ago. And yeah. we talked about the tape where he talks about the daughters. And he said that tape does not exist. And Pat and I made a bet at that time, which again, I don't believe uh, I want to collect it. Well, I did. I remember I came into your... Right. Pat yeah. said he would kiss my balls. Oh. oh. Well, I can't. Well, if I can't get a... another problem My here. luck, I... wait a minute. My luck, if I kiss his balls, I get an erection. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> let's, go to, uh, let's go to Bong Hit Eric. Let a couple of people say hello to Pat Cooper. Uh, By the way, Pat Cooper, this Friday at Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn, this is where Pat does his stand-up. Uh, he's very successful at it. A lot of people love he's it. He's a good one. And he's got... a very good stand-up he's, he's at the top of his game. Go ahead. <laughs> this is awesome, Howard. A couple of things. I wanted to uh, mention it. I, I think Pat should maybe try Cialis. And fuck the snot out of his woman. Cialis. Did you try Cialis? Did you try that What's that? It's stronger than Viagra. I mean, whatever it takes, Pat. You got You got to nail her. But, but one other Some thing. people do have problems with Viagra and Cialis. Cialis. Works for them. I can't take that can't crap. It's all right? crap. Robin, it can't hurt to try. Right. I think I, I'll tell you what I think. What do you think? I think Pat can get it up. Right. I think if he deals with the death of his wife and puts that into the proper perspective and he's with this woman and she starts putting some baby oil on his penis and rubbing it, right. he's going to get erect as, as a right 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 yes, but we're trying to help him over the hump. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, up, <laughs> it's up to the woman. Why would I need any of that? I never had to have that in my, well, my marriage life. I had a nice, normal, nice up, relationship you feel with like my you, wife. But you feel like you, you, know you feel like you're cheating on your wife. I was not low. When you lose your wife. really bang let me ask you a question. You God really forbid you wife? lost your wife. Right. You think the next day you're thinking about getting a heart on? No, but this is already two years. a different woman, Pat. It's only a year with her. Oh, a year. Well, 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 she's well, terrific. Wait a minute. You I'm going to lose a friend. I'm going to tell you something. Show. Me, and, I, and you can badmouth me all you want, because I'm going to tell you something about me. Even if I lost the one I love, and I love, the next day I'm dating. True that, Howard. 
I got a date. You're not only dating, you're banging. Well, that's okay. That's you. I can't. You drop and go on a chance. Took I got me, drop it took and me a year. Hey, Howard. Yeah, but you got you. you the you're sex still not life is not good. Still not oh, yes, yeah, so to go to Italy because she's a nice lady. Yeah. She was born in Italy. She speaks the language. We had a nice time. The second time was even better. Let's go to Steve who wants to say hi. All right, all right Steve, yeah. go ahead. Hey, Pat. Yeah. Find you the picciac. What? What? Mind you, mind you the picyak. Oh. What? What does you that tell mean? Tell him to eat the uh, eat the pussy, Pat. Come on, eat the pussy. Listen, I didn't call up to say eat the pussy, Pat. So listen. It would be nice if Pat would eat this woman's vagina. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> Seriously, if you went down on her, she'd probably hoping, love it. I was Honestly. I was hoping when I walked in this room. Yeah. You're going to say, Pat, I'd rather you leave. Because I don't believe it. <laughs> I, said, I said, you know what he's going to do to me? He's going to say, hey, yeah, you. You bad mom may get out of my studio. And I would have said, no, okay, fine. I didn't have you in here to throw you out. Wow, well, what's the difference? But I right. said to myself, why am I here? And now we're talking about my penis. My penis is unbelievable <laughs> right now. I feel bad. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Oh, you lost your wife. Why are you bad? Why? Because I think you want. I think you took Viagra because you want to have sex with this woman. I but try everything, but I can't go through anymore. I'm getting out of my mind here. Jerry, have go you had? Uh, I'm gonna do Bubba's doctor thing now. Have you had your testosterone level? Checked? I went to two doctors. They said, Pat, calm down. It'll catch up. I'm 77. It'll it's catch not up. Not that old. You could still get it up, believe me. Jerry, you're on the air yeah. in Newark. You could. I, I like, I like, I'm, I want to defend Pat Coop. I heard one of the interviews, and um, he was actually giving you um, a lot of props, Howard. He was uh, explaining that you were the greatest um, uh, DJ, I know that. DJ of all time. I know and, that. And the only thing he was angry about was that uh, he said that um, you, you admitted something that, on, on Hannity about, uh, about uh, censoring somebody. He was angry at that. I admitted it because it's true, and the and, fact of the matter is I would do it again in 20 seconds because this had nothing to do with censorship this had to do with the fact that uh, within the company uh, people were treating me like an asshole and the fact of the matter is when someone steals my act you're gonna fucking fight me and I'll fight any way I gotta fight well, that, that's and that's it that's at. it I don't want people stealing my shit uh, well that's what it was but, that's right um, you go, go figure out how you're gonna deal with me Please, please, I'm a uh, force. Leave, leave, leave a tech a force? I'm a force please. to be reckoned with. <laughs> He's A list. I'm A list. I'm not B. <laughs> Crazy Alice, you're on the air. I'm mad. Uh oh. What are you mad about? I hate him. I hate that motherfucker. I hate him. <laughs> Why are you so Why angry? Why are you uh, uh, hating Pat? Fuck that fucker the hell. <laughs> Jeez, you know. really pissed her off. <laughs> you pissed her off, Pat. What's she saying here? Listen. Listen to her. She's angry. Go ahead. He's a piece of shit. Ugh. I'm sick. Yes. Oh, fuck your fat mama neck. Oh. That's a tape anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, about don't it. worry about it. What did she say? <laughs> it it, was, it wasn't sick. even uh, real. <laughs> it's not even real. <laughs> Uh, well, listen, what you're telling me. <laughs> her husband won't bang her. She's mad okay. because uh, he he can't get it up to. So she hates him. She, uh, she hates him. But I'm not talking in a in, 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 in a sloppy kind of way. No, I know. no, you're not. I'm just you happen to ask me. Look, and I'm I said, glad you came. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm glad you came in today. You want me to leave? No, no. Well, hold on. What are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm making a presentation. You know what? Sh- I'm ma- I'm wrapping up, but don't leave. You finished? I'm finishing. Really? What time you finished? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'm finishing. Segment. Our segment. I'll go, oh, this and, was a segment. A good yeah, bit. and then I'll go to Andy Dick, who's here. He wants to be interviewed. Well, then you should. Right Andy who? Yeah, he's a little late. Good. He's not here. Andy Dick, the comedian. Oh, yeah. The comedian. Okay, I seen him. I'm yeah. nice. All right, yeah. he's a nice guy. Look. Pat, they don't have you on the roasts anymore. They're, they're, I've done it every year. What are you talking about? I, um, I, done, I don't know. I well, because you don't go. You stay I, here in this fucking. Who did you roast? Cornucopia. Who did you, who did you roast the last time? I was at the Jerry Lewis thing. I did the oh. one before that. You roasted Jerry Lewis. Yeah. Well, you and, like him or you don't like him? I like Jerry. I like Jerry. Jerry's a listen. Jerry was he gracious to you? Jerry. Oh yeah, came to my house many times. Was he gracious? Jerry, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Jerry is a giant, whether you like him or not, he's a giant in show business. And uh, I like you, him. He's always been a friend. Did you uh, go last on the roast? You're usually the cleanup guy. I always close. You closed. I don't want to, but they say, say you got to close. Because you're so strong. It's Nobody not a question I'm strong. You. It's a question that, hey, this is, you want the truth? This is why I can't get a fucking heart on. This is why, because I'm under, when I know the next day I got to close that fucking rose, I, I'm wiped out. Because physically and mentally, why? it's a tough position to be in. Yes. Because now you're following 20 comics who say everything about the guy that we're roasting. My secret is, and I'm going to let it out, I listen to what I can't say. 
Then I go after the guy at who's who. who well, what did you say about Jerry Lewis? What? Well, I, first of all, we had Paul Schaefer had the 25 minutes, which was the worst shit in the world. So I said, I want to thank Paul Schaefer for giving Jerry a chance to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I first I walked out. That's what the fuck are you doing? Period on this day is go play your violin or whatever the fuck you do for Letterman. He has no you don't right. belong here. I don't come into your world. Stay the hell out of my world. So you gave it to Schaefer, right? I gave away. it to Schaefer. And by the way, Schaefer is not a good. Then host. I said to Jerry Lewis, I said, Jerry, I know you a long time, and I understand you don't even know where the hell you are today. He don't know. <laughs> he, doesn't. he doesn't know. I said you are. You used to go with a guy called Dean Martin. Read my. <laughs> lips. Now, sitting next to him was uh, was uh, uh, Robert De Niro, oh, De Niro. and uh, Scorsese. Wow. Now, I said, Mr. Scorsese, this gives me an opportunity. First of all, I said, I did you a benefit on your 50th birthday, so you threw me a bone. You're coming to come into casino. I said, ladies and gentlemen, this was my show in casino. Action! Hello, Tommy. Cut! I said, that was fucking what, what Mr. Scorsese did. I said, fuck you and your movies. I said, okay, yeah, right. I don't need you. I said, remember, the guy sitting next to you is De Niro. And he knows who was the master of analyze this and analyze that. I said, and you never hear Robert De Niro talk unless he gets paid. That's why he's here mumbling. <laughs> so, so you want like a that. role. You were like that. And I, people... I, I find it the minute I hit that day is I know it's fucking war. Right. But you can't but think you're about up. nothing else, but you are now, they're going to say, let's hear what this guy's got to say that he's closing. So and now, that racks your brain for days before it happens. No, but, yeah, no. It, what it, happens is, you, excuse me. You I get would, nervous. The worst thing to do is say, I wonder, let me write something. I don't write nothing down. You don't huh? prepare. No. You're kidding. I swear my grandkids, I never should see them again. You ask him on that day. You I didn't don't prepare paper. for the journey. Because let me tell you why. When you look at what's going on, there's funny shit going on that a lot of the comics who read their shit don't see. Right. All right. Many years ago, about four or five years ago, and I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it. Michael Spinks is sitting in the corner. Right. And I walked out and said, Michael Spinks, you're no longer heavyweight champion. That means you're back to becoming a nigger. That's what I said. Oh, my. And he screamed. Oh, he oh. screamed. Oh. And I hugged him. Oh. And he screamed. But you can only say that at a roast. And he knows right. I respect him and I love him. You're not But they expect that. At right. the roast, they want. That. They expect that at the roast. <laughs> you know, so so what happens is <laughs> no wonder you can't get it up. I tell you, you, I've said things on that on that day is that if they could ever put it on home box, I'd become a genius. But <laughs> that's my <laughs> myself, right? But that's my point. You're every bit the number one guy. Rickles gets all the respect. All the they money. They deserve it. Oh, oh, wait a so. second. They you're, deserve you're it. I'm not animosity. Try to be them. nice to the people who want to support I'm nice you. I'm nice to everybody, no. but I blow my stack. Wait, how many times you made mistakes? Rarely. What? Rarely. Every day you like you made a mistake. No. Never. Give me a break. I'm so on target. No, you, uh, I don't listen, make any mistakes. Listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. <laughs> you may not make mistakes. You understand? But when you walk out that fucking door, you're just another human being. And oh, you all no. make mistakes. That's Fred's story, not mine. <laughs> I know you're a normal human being. I'm like Jesus himself. All I got to tell Stop you, it. I am a genius of myself. You're that a line, genius. That you are line, a genius. No, that line has caught on around the country to say, Cooper, how are you staying? What would you tell him? I said, I'm a genius of myself. <laughs> and it became a whole kind, kind of thing. And uh, what can I tell you? I'm happy well, that to be is here, some story way. about uh, Michael Spinks. That's uh, something. I, I, that's I, some I, line. That's some I, line. I swear <laughs> to God. So these come out of you and you don't I even... should not. I, you ask me about it today. Artie, you do a lot of roast. But you, and you're you, right. You gotta be, that's pretty amazing that he yeah. doesn't prepare anything. Unbelievable. I mean, I, Artie, I, even I do that. I mean, I, uh, who's Artie? Right here, man. Artie, <laughs> I'm sorry to me to be that but disrespectful to you. Why? Artie, you ask anybody. Everyone's disrespectful to Artie. Of the days. In the last 11 years that I've roasted everybody, right. I closed. I never had a piece of paper in my hand. I never said, let me write something down. Because I know when I write it down, I'm, it's not going to be funny after I read it. I'm going to lose my That's my not thing. your thing. Well, I saw him on Drew Carey, and it's true. That's the one where, where I was Ooh. so... Uh, the Drew, Drew Carey, Carey roast. Oh, I did that. That, that, was, that was the last one. I, no, that was the last one I did, and I took a hiatus. I said, put me up front once in a while. They said, no. I said, because I'm tired of waiting, you know. Here, 
Barbara Walters walks out by the time she gets to me. This one's walking out. Right. And it's I hard, said, yeah. what the hell is this shit? Right. I it's said. Too long a night. And some people bomb. What? Some no. people bomb. Paul Schaefer that day That's was a disgrace to the days. And I tell him, how dare you? And some of them who don't know what be to do. Because he drained 25 minutes out of the crowd. No, they get agita. But there are a lot of comics there who don't know. They do their act. I said, why are we roasting Jerry Lewis? What are you talking about a fish in a goddamn pond? <laughs> right. The fuck you do? These people it's pay right, $10,000 right. $10, oh, a table. People who do their act are doing a disservice. You're supposed to roast the human being. But you know what it is? That's not to make them bad people. Right. Please. But they shouldn't get up there. They're not in that league. Right. Once I saw Milton Berle tell that comic, Sonny, you didn't do your homework. Don't you ever come on a dais again because you're dealing with greatness here. You're not dealing with crap. This is one of the great moments of any comic's mind to stand there and close. And you ask anybody in the fries, who's the best at that? And I'm the guy because I don't have written. I don't come prepared because the fun is falling on your ass. That's you regret the things you say afterwards? No. Never. Even the, using the N-word with Michael, Michael Spinks? Spinks and his manager came over to me and said, Pat, what do you come from? I said, Michael, I love you. Please. They know you don't mean anything by it. God almighty, by when I said, trying oh, to make oh, Now, I'm going to give you the last one. Richard Pryor. We're roasting. One of the greatest comics, right? No question. Go ahead. Hey, I got slides of John Pat Cooper. I said, Richard, let me ask you a question. When the fuck are you going to die? <laughs> <laughs> I said, for Christ's sakes, I said, you took the cocaine. You burn yourself alive. At times, we eat macaroni, we fuck abroad, and we lay farts, and we die. Right. Would you do me a favor? You want to be a big star? Die now. Come on, let me see you die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I swear to you. He coddled me and hugged me. He said, Pat, how the fuck? And, and he walk loved away, it. He and loved walk, it. And, and walk away from it. And they said, Pat, thank you. I didn't mean to hurt that guy in any way. So look at the mind. That's look at your fuck. mind. Don't you think you could have had the biggest career if you just no, once in no. a while? I'll tell you why. Take a if breath. You study, no, if you ever study my career, I stopped at certain points. Right. And I'll tell you the big point that I know hurt me when I did Tom Snyder and I begged my that somebody was, entertained. That's when I got into you. That's why I had you on my show. I saw you on Tom no, Snyder. That's I when said, you needed help. No. That is you when You were not I, a man who needs help. No. No I fucking you, man's an island. I saw you as a kid. No fucking man's an island. <laughs> I was a kid. I was a kid. You I were saw never that. a kid. I saw you on that. I saw a tape of it. And I said, get me that guy on my show. No, Gary Delabati saw me at the at the Count Basie Theater. Wait a yes, minute. But I Wait knew you minute. from Tom Snyder. And if you remember, I turned you down, not because I didn't want to do it. I didn't know who the fuck you were. But so Gary Delabati, listening. I call him, I said, Gary, listening. I'd like to do it another time. Then I came two weeks later, and I did it, Tom and I made Snyder, you a star. The what Tom, the fuck more do you want? The Tom Snyder interview hurt you because you made fun of Lola Falana. I thought so, yes. She was a big star, and she put the kill on you. Oh, Lola, Lola Falana. She's not even in the business anymore. I know, but at the time, that's why I, I hurt think, you. Uh, what I mentioned, I think, was uh, nobody sued me. Right. My wife said to me, how the hell can you just say those things on, tele on the radio and television? I said, very simple. I raise my price now. So she laughed at me. Now, my wife is very introverted. Oh, I don't want to know. No, no, no. You know, and I turn around the next day. Get me that guy that was on Howard. I mean, that was on Tom Snyder. That's 1980. But I knew it was going to hurt me somewhere along the way. And I understood that. But I had to say, because I was tired of taking shit from closing acts who thought that they were my fucking savior. See the anger? That's it. You got a lot of anger. I'm not saying I don't, but that's what makes me what I am today. That's why you world. can't get it up. I'm fuck getting it up. I want to be what I am now. <laughs> All right, listen. All, All right, right, listen. listen Andy to me. Dick is next. Yeah. All right. What do you think of him? Now, you? here goes your show into the toilet. No, Andy Dick. Andy Dick's a guy who can get it up. Andy Dick can get it up for anybody. I mean, Andy Dick a man is a special. A uh, listen, Andy Dick special is a special in his own way. Yeah. And I, I listen. Anybody that likes to do comedy, I saw him licking somebody on the you're a chat in the show. Right, yeah. right. And I like him. He's. I wish him nothing but the best. But he's not in my league. He's not as good as you. Not as a roaster. No, that's not, for no, sure. No, no, he's not in my league. Different approach. What does that mean? What's the I, There's only one me. Right. There's only one you. Right. There's only well, one her. 
There's a lot of Gary Dalabadis, but that's beside the point. I'm Aww. getting you, Gary. So anyway, <laughs> this is the man that said I, uh, This is the genius right, of me. Thank you. I'm glad you came in. Well, today. I'm glad you yeah, showed. You proved me wrong. Better than we thought. Uh, you yeah. proved me wrong. All right, come on. All okay. right. Baby. God bless. All right. I'm sorry. How's your lady doing? My lady's How's her ankle? Uh, it, it's healing. See, I healing. was concerned about your ladies. What a I'm fuck don't you eat? I'm sorry about your wife. Oh, thank you. I'm Let sure. me ask you something. Why, why don't you eat? I look great. I'm looking outside, and I see you have a sandwich, a special tatoiki sandwich. Right. What, it's I organic? Look I look great. You look like I can iron my shirts on your ass, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fucking iron. I look iron great. <laughs> Women uh, love it when they uh, see it. Get ready for Andy Dick. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> there he goes. Pat, take care. There he goes. He's walking out. Thank you, Pat. Don't discuss my heart. Hey, I'm not going to talk hey, about it. Hey, hey. Wait, I can't hear you. Hold we're on. playing what, your what, music. We're playing. Who's this girl? I'm calling you. I'm coming in. Come in here. With, and bring her in. You know what I want you to do? I'm going to ask you a favor to me. And I'm going to tell you. She's I'm, in Vegas. But, shh. She lives in Vegas. But we what, know she can travel. She lives, what are you shoving out in my mouth for? <laughs> what I want she you lives to, in Vegas. I want you to bring her in here. You want to meet her? Yeah. No, no, you're going to bust my balls. I swear I won't. She'll come on. Bring her in with you. You're that like, night we get you late. That night you get late. I know it. No, you're having trouble talking to her about sex. <laughs> you're going to get me here. late. When you you're going to get me I'm going to get you laid. I tried everything. What do you know? Gary, yeah, jerk him off right now. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Bring her in here. Uh, Trust boy, your me. Rating, your ratings today skyrocketing. <laughs> right. Thanks, Pat. God bless. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, Gary. I know. There he goes. Thanks, Pat. Hey, Gumbari, she was so naughty. He's his own house. Yeah, he's still screaming. What are you screaming about? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What are you afraid? What? Everywhere I go, Gumba, what's the matter? Can't get it up. Don't get it up. Bring your wife in here, your girlfriend, your girlfriend. Shit. <laughs> All right. Take care, Pat. <laughs> guy's on fire. Yeah. Well, there was another great Pat Cooper yeah. appearance. You can't get it up. He is he is right about those roasts, man. He just gets up there. And he doesn't do jokes, either. He just he talks He from, tells you. Right. It's just on. like from the heart. Like shit like that. Like, when are you going to die? Right. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny, but it's just funny, funny coming thought. out of him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you ever go to a roast unprepared? Uh, no, no, God, no, no. I love what you. Well, do. I mean, I think he, I think he prepares, but he's proud that he doesn't have a paper. All right, right. You know, he's definitely. I think he yeah, does but what do. he's saying is what you have said many, many times. Everybody's already going to have said everything about yeah. every subject you could possibly think of. It's tough to close. So yeah. you got to really look around the room. You got to go to an evil place when you're last. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You got to go to another level. Slaying people in your mind because you don't know what's going to come up at the. Roast. I've never seen him not kill though at a roast. Well, uh, wow. See, that went differently than you thought it would. I didn't know how it would go. I know, but you were looking at it as like a bad. It's going to be a rotten. Well, you know, time. You hear how Pat lost his wife. I mean, Jesus Christ. Right. See. You know what. I, I, he, he listen. He did great. I think he's a little freaked out that he talked about what he talked. About. I'm sure he's he really is. walking out the door. And he looked at me. And goes, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> I had for that. real, he's a great guest. He's man. an incredible guest. Yeah. You got to book him with that girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get. See her now in he's there. back. <laughs> Yo, I, I, that's, that, come on, that'd be great. <laughs> wow. So Andy Dick is here. All right, let with, me take a break. Andy's we got to get him. Who do you bring? His son. No, kid, boy, that can't be an easy oh, gig. Oh, well, that's what? a 17-year-old guy, right? At the Shatner roast, I met his kid, and his kid is like a good-looking kid. He right. seems like a kid who gets a lot of pussy. <laughs> I mean, he seems like one of those L.A. kids who knows oh, what he's doing. Wait a second. You know? I mean, being Andy's son. Yeah, can you it's imagine? It's got to be confusing. And he definitely doesn't have a wall up. Like, he's got that cool, arrogant wall up. He's like, hey, doing uh, like, hey, what's up, bro? I think it's, <laughs> you know, I, 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 and I don't mean to make a comparison here, but but like, like like being Anna Nicole Smith's kid, yeah. or being Andy's kid, I, I imagine this is very difficult. I imagine being my kid is difficult in many many ways. But uh, Andy, that's a he's stepping up, it up. I Andy's guess. wild. I mean, yeah. Andy is wild. Well, at least Andy's a talented guy, whereas Anna Nicole, I right? Think. Well, yeah, but it's more, it's more of a free talent, though. Yeah, it a has bad, nothing to do with talent. That's a bad analogy. I mean, but Andy's so. Hey, Artie, can I put it this way for you? No, I get what, what you're saying. What if you're, you're you you wake up one morning and your father's bedroom door is closed and you don't know if a man or woman's walking out to that door? Oh, that's oh, that's confusing. That's, that's tough. Right. That's tough. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. I like to meet Andy's son. I want to say hi to Andy. Congratulate him on the radio show he did here. He's 
sober now, too. He's sober. Oh, well. for how many days? How many days he got on that ship? I don't know. He's sober. <laughs> He's sober today. Right. It's good. this morning. All right. We'll, we'll be back right after uh, this. And oh, what is Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh-huh. Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.